Gallagher here. If you want to grow your channel quick and easy, subscribe and smash that notification bell because I share with you all the tips, tricks, and strategies that I use to grow this dead channel from zero to thousands of subscribers and became a YouTube partner in just a matter of months. What's going on? So I've received a few requests to cover some tips specifically related to starting and growing a gaming channel. And the reason why YouTubers find it difficult to start and grow a gaming channel is because everyone is trying to start and grow a gaming channel. Now that said, it's probably one of the most, if not the most, competitive niche on YouTube right now. So does that mean you shouldn't even bother with trying to start a gaming channel? Not at all. But in my opinion, starting a gaming channel will require a lot of strategy. And in this video, I'll share with you a couple tips that I think can help get over this first hurdle of dealing with so much competition. Also, for those that have been asking about the YouTube income method I use, I put a link in the description to a course where you can watch over my shoulder and set these income streams up for yourself. And I also show you how to generate hundreds of thousands of views to your videos every month. And if you do happen to come over here and check out all the other information I have about the course, you'll be able to see the results other YouTubers that are enrolled in this course are already getting. And if you go down a little bit farther, I even have this bonus section, which is the Fast Track to the YouTube Partnership Program. And so these are the most fastest and effective ways to get to the YouTube Partnership as quick as possible. So that way you can earn AdSense revenue in addition to all the other income streams you can set up. And so you get all that in just one course right here for you. The link's in the description. All right, let's get back to the topic at hand. That said, here are a couple things I would do to start a gaming channel. So using Fortnite as an example, since gaming is so competitive and there's so many people uploading the same or similar content, what happens is when hundreds if not thousands of Fortnite videos are being uploaded to YouTube every day, the chances that your videos are going to end up in the top few spots here on YouTube in the search and suggest results without implementing very strong strategies is going to be extremely unlikely. So let me show you what I'm talking about and what gaming channels are up against when they're starting out. So if we go to YouTube, and again, we'll stick with Fortnite, and we type in Fortnite, and then we filter this so that we can see videos related to Fortnite uploaded just within the last hour. So we're gonna click that. And now watch what happens when I scroll down. So the, these are videos that have just been uploaded within the last hour. You can see it just keep populating and keep populating. Okay, it just keeps going and going. So in the last hour, all these Fortnite videos have been uploaded. So if you're a new YouTuber and you think you're just gonna upload some random Fortnite video and it's gonna somehow get discovered out of all these hundreds of videos, probably thousands of Fortnite videos uploaded every day. And so it's gonna be very difficult for your videos to get discovered and views to your videos. And a lot of people ignore any sort of strategy and they think they're just gonna upload Fortnite videos and grow a channel. And so this is why so many people struggle. So that said, here's a couple strategies to help you get your content discovered amongst all the competition. So let's use Fortnite as an example. Let's say you're just starting a YouTube channel and for whatever reason you wanna get into this Fortnite gaming niche and start growing your channel using Fortnite. With this strategy, you're gonna drill down into this Fortnite niche that already exists to find specific Fortnite videos that are being searched for by other YouTubers and that also have less competition. So here's an example. So we already have Fortnite up here in the search bar. If we type in a space after it, YouTube's gonna look at its platform and, and it's gonna, in order, say, well, there's a bunch of people searching for Fortnite funny moments, Fortnite live, Fortnite song, Fortnite dance, and so on, trying to help you finish your search, right? It's saying, okay, a lot of people are searching for Fortnite funny moments. Maybe that's what you're gonna do, so it populates this, so all you have to do is click on it. It's doing you a favor. But it's doing us a favor in a different way. It's telling us this right now is one of the most popular search phrases related to Fortnite, Fortnite funny moments. So let's click on Fortnite funny moments. And if we were to scroll down, it would still be a ton of content. So let's add some more. Let's hit space again. Okay, now it's got clean BCC trolling. Let's just go ahead and hit clean and see what comes up for the last hour. We gotta refilter this to the last hour. One. So one video came up for Fortnite funny moments clean. So you can see there's a lot less competition surrounding this particular key phrase. So let's go ahead and back it up real quick just for a second. 
So since we have a little bit better of a key phrase here, so it's not gonna be quite as competitive, let's just copy this. And then we're gonna use free software to do a little bit more research. So in this case, I'm gonna open up TubeBuddy and I'm gonna use the keyword Explorer. And I'm just gonna put this in here I'm gonna hit return and we're gonna see what type of results we get so even with Fortnite funny moments it's still very high competition so you can see the search volume is moderate which is good but the competition is extremely high so two buddies telling us it's a bad idea to go after this so we can do the same thing and we can hit the space bar right here and it'll interface with TubeBuddy will interface with YouTube and give us some more suggestions of what is currently popular people are searching for. So let's try this Fortnite Funny Moments BBC trolling and see what type of results we get. Still bad, let's try adding clean to the end of it. So it's starting to get better, right? And so what you would wanna do with this strategy is keep playing with these search terms until you find something that is up here somewhere or maybe even good, where you have a relatively low competition but still decent search volume. And so people that aren't doing this at all, they're not doing any sort of research, good luck with that. You can see how competitive some of these other terms were. Now you can continue to do this and play around with these key phrases and eventually you'll start to find, you know, things that are better than fair, you know, that are good or great or whatever. But the point is you have to do some research. You can't just go out there and arbitrarily post Fortnite videos and expect to get discovered. You have to use strategy in my opinion. So now let's look at a different strategy that I would use as well. And with this strategy, the idea is to anticipate upcoming topics that people are gonna be searching for, or you could even call them trends. And in gaming, that's actually pretty easy to do because you can simply Google gaming news and then check out some of these websites that are related to gaming. So you got PC Gamer, Polygon, GameSpot, The Verge. And so you could go in, check out these sites, look at upcoming games, particularly the ones that are being talked about a lot. I know a big one coming up is Anthem. But as soon as a game is available that you wanna start doing this with, get it as quickly as possible and start drilling down, just as we did in the previous example. And depending on the game, you'll be able to predict specific topics to do videos about that people end up wanting to see. For instance, games that have unlockable weapons, unlockable skins, unlockable levels, unlockable characters, and so on. For those games, I would start discovering for myself or even watch other YouTubers that have made those discoveries on how to unlock content and start producing videos related to the unlockable content and how to unlock that content. For example, Red Dead Redemption 2 is a pretty popular game and since the game has upgrades that you have to earn money in the game itself in order to unlock, people began posting videos on that very specific subject money hacks or the fastest way to earn money in Red Dead Redemption 2 and so on and those videos are getting crazy views and it's those sorts of videos I would anticipate doing as soon as possible because people are going to be looking for that content eventually so again with Anthem coming out soon I would almost guarantee it will have unlockable weapons and skins and other content so the first thing I would do is figure out how to unlock those items and start doing videos on it. Whether or not people are watching to see how to do it or just to see what those unlockable items are, the idea again is to get ahead of the curve and produce content that has little competition because not everybody is going to be doing that. So while many YouTubers will simply be flooding YouTube with just gameplay of those types of games, you can use specific strategies like this and drill down and find specific topics a lot of people will be searching for and your videos can potentially get tons of views and so your channel has a good chance at growing quite well. And at the very least, using these strategies is going to put you miles ahead of people that just come on here and think they're going to post a Fortnite video while there's thousands literally of videos being posted every day about Fortnite and wondering why they're not getting anywhere. This is why, because they don't have a strategy. So anyways, I hope that helps you out. If you're already starting a gaming channel, try this out. Start drilling either into an existing game or plan for an upcoming game and get ahead of the curve and get ready to produce those types of videos I just mentioned. So again, I might do a series of these and eventually I might even do my own gaming channel. So like I said, I will definitely let you guys know if I do and share that experience with you all. If you like this type of content, be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell. With that, I'm gonna wrap this up and I will see you in the next video.